Hello there, Mark Firth here, and in this video, I'm going to show you an end to end, step by step tutorial using Descript Storyboard of how to take long form video content and turn it into lots of clips that you can put on multiple platforms. We'll show you how to create the different formats like a YouTube short style, a square style for Facebook, LinkedIn, and of course, Instagram. And we'll show you how to do it end to end so that you can create videos like this. There's a short, there's a, a LinkedIn, Instagram version. And by the way, this is what it used to look like before Descript updated tons and tons of separate clips, but this has really, really been simplified with the update of Storyboard. So let's jump into Storyboard. And by the way, this is the process we're going to walk you through. We're going to set up templates. This is an amazing addition to Storyboard, which saves you a lot of time. We're going to create the first step, which is Square is a better way of saying it, which would be LinkedIn, Instagram, Facebook to a certain degree. More Facebook, to be honest. Create a second set shorts by using the templates. So the first thing you want to do is go into Descript and you want to go to templates just here and you want to click up the top right create new template and then you'll be presented with a screen like this so I'm going to call this square template and you just want to grab a video in it the best the way I always do this is I just simply go to the video and I just drag it in until I see the purple there and I just transcribe it let's let it just scram transcribe and when the video has transcribed, you will see the transcript here. Now within the template, the first thing we want to do is we don't want to do any editing in there. We just want to go up to here and click on video settings and make it square. Simple as that. So then I'm just going to make, so this is the interview we're actually going to be editing. It doesn't have to be the same interviews. Of, of which you're editing. Just make it, ideally when you do the template, try and make it something of the same resolution. If not, it doesn't matter, it's, it's really quick. So there we go, we have that in there and I'm going to make this square borders. This is gonna be the first template. Just gonna simply go up here, click rectangle and then, then I'm gonna grab the rectangle and I'm going to put it up to the top of the screen. Then I'm going to grab another rectangle and I'm going to put it down at the bottom. And there we go. So now we have the border. Then I'm going to go up here to the T and I'm going to add title. And sometimes, by the way, when you try and grab the title, you can see that's happened there. It's not let me, that's because it's in editing. So I'm just going to put, I'm just going to change it to black. We'll keep it simple for this to show you the process. There we go, it's changed to black. I've changed the fill color there while I'm highlighting it. By the way, if you see down here, show selected layer, it's easier I find to show all layers. And then you can just pull it up this bit here at the bottom. There we go. And you can see title is easy to select. Now, what I need to do here in this situation, you will come across this so it doesn't hold you up, is just grab select. They haven't quite figured it out yet. And then you can just go underneath it and grab it up there. So that's just an example title. And then we pull it back. Job done. Now, if you want to edit the title, again, you would select it. And I'm gonna make the fill color completely black. It's just, I don't want any type of gradient on it, so 100%. Then we're going click on text again, but this time we're gonna to go to captions. This will add the fancy captions to the template. They used to be called fancy captions, and I'm just gonna move them there, and I'm gonna go here, and I'm gonna select the color black. Then we're not gonna really worry about editing any of it right now, but what I am gonna do is I'm going to change the captions and the way they're done. So let me just select, oh, it's moved it across. And you can press Control and Z if you do something that you wish to change. And if you're ever in doubt of which one you're editing, just go down there and you can see that I'm now editing this. Captions, I'm gonna click here on the little bars 
and I'm going to say down here active word. I'm going to press the plus there. I like to do the active word fill white background. I like to do orange and then I'm going to add my brand text, my brand font, which I can up here just as an example, Gilroy bold. There we go. And I'm also then going to make this a bit smaller. I can hover over it with the left mouse click and move it across. So then we'll be able to fit some words in. Usually it's about 120 that does most headlines. By the way, we'll show you how to create headlines using artificial intelligence later on as a bonus. And last of all, I'm going to change the font. Good. There we go. So now I'm going to publish that template. And it's ready to use when we get to the next step when we're creating the first set. Now I want to quick click up here and it's going to take me back to projects and I'm going to go back into templates and I'm, I've called it Aquare, but there we go. I'm actually going to create a new template. Descript doesn't yet have the ability to duplicate them. So there we go. We're just going to create it very quickly from fresh. We're going to grab in the same file. Don't worry about it taking up a lot of space on your hard disk. Descript is actually really good with that. By default, the setting is enabled that they just download what you're working on. And that in itself is just a huge advantage over some of the heavy, heavy editing software. So we'll let it transcribe. All right, so that's transcribed. And what we're going to do this time is we're going to call this one short. Why are we going to call this short? Because the first thing we're going to go is go to composition settings and we're going to change to portrait. That is the short format. Now, if you have a video recorded portrait on a mobile phone or something, you would just put it in there and, and, and then add the captions in. You'd be good to go. But we don't. So let me just show you what I mean, right? So maybe we could get away with it. We can't get away with it completely. So I'll show you what we're going to do. And, and by the way, this is what we've done. And it's worked really well when um, we haven't got a high resolution image in portrait. And I'll show you how to do that now. Otherwise, you would just literally stretch it all across and put the captions in the place I'm about to show you now. So I'm just going to add as before, I'm going to add a rectangle. And then I'm going to add another rectangle and at the bottom and on this one I think I'll add a S bar just at the bottom there then I'm going to go up the, add the captions now with the captions <clears throat> for YouTube they need to be about there and for a short it tends to be quicker consumption, so I make it smaller, so only a couple of words are visible. And I'm then going to right click and make it bigger. And then I'm going to go to the fill, the, the active word, and I'm going to go white, and I'm going to go background orange. This is how I like to run them on the shorts. There we go. So, and then I just like to put the bar there at the bottom. And by the way, I wouldn't have this bottom bar if there was a full portrait. I would just pull the image all over it and just have the captions. That's how I tend to do it when it's done specifically for shorts. But this works really well too. And then I want a title. All right, good. So I'm now going to go to publish template. And we are going to move on to, we're not going to do this now. We're now going to go to create the first set of videos. So that's published. I'm going to go back to the projects and I'm this, and let me just give you bearings up here. You've got all your settings and members here. You have a private workspace. You don't share with the team. We do everything in our shared workspace. You would obviously go to where you are. I like to structure it like this and I'm going to click not you see the top right? Don't click new classic project. You might not see this when you see the video because Descript are updating to storyboard. Pretty soon this won't exist. Just click new project. And again, bring in the long form video file you're going to edit. In my case, it's an interview. 
If it's just one speaker, you wouldn't do this next step, but you want it to identify the speakers. So tell it how many speakers to look for. This is really important and it's really helpful. And it's gonna detect the speakers now. And when it's detected speakers, just check the language is correct. Change that if you need. And down here, bottom right, I'm going to press identify speakers. And really, really important, it does show you a video, but don't go on the video because I've seen them get this wrong. Go on what you hear. So you might not be able to hear this, but I'm just going to show you how to assign the speakers. So there's a prime example. That's Jeff. And click there. And then by process of elimination, it's going to be me. There we go. That's done. Again, let me reiterate, don't go on the visual because sometimes the first visual you see is incorrect. Go on the audio, listen to the audio, press close. All right, so this is now transcribed. Let me explain how I go about this. And I'm, go I'm not going to go through all the features now. What I'm going to do is I'm going to introduce the features and explain them and the functions and all the adjustments as I use them, because otherwise I feel it's overwhelming and this can do a ton of stuff, but we're ultimately here to take a long form video and make it into loads of clips like I showed you. So let's go through the workflow. And the first thing is we really need to start with some workflow best practices. So what I always like to do is rename this composition base. What's a composition? A composition is a video within an overall project. So this is the overall project. The overall project is Jeff interview and the untouched version that I've imported is base. Here's where all your files are kept. I'm going to duplicate it and I'm going to call it. I'm going to click here and I'm going to rename it and I'm going to say square because this is where we're going to have all the square videos using the template I showed you and we will then after we've gone through what I'm about to show you we'll create a second composition all contained within this project called short for the portrait style. All right, so when we've done that, what the first thing I always do is I go down to here at the bottom and I put it on show all layers. I pull this up to give me a bit of room and I zoom out on it. And I get the composition to the point where I know I've got the core material. Now, in this case, I know that the interview started about eight minutes. So I'm going to click there at eight minutes. So it's not there. I'm just looking at the questions. So I ask the questions and then Jeff answers. So there we are, we're checking the sound. So there we are, there's the first question. And this is the great thing because you can see the speaker, I can pull it out. So the, this is the fantastic thing about Descript. You edit the video by editing the transcript. So I'm simply going to pull up and I'm going to delete it and now if I go down the content is 38 minutes instead of almost an hour that's what we're working with <clears throat> and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to here and I'm going to go to my templates I'm going to click square and it's going to apply the template but I haven't changed the setting so I need to change it to square and there we go we bought in the exact format we need we've already done the work and it's already formatted so the next thing we need to do and we're not going to add the title now this is going to be later on in the workflow we add in we say do not add typelet so we've created the base layer we've done the 1.0 we've added the template we don't add the titles now we're going to split into scenes and there's actually a step here edit and adjust transcript i have someone on the team to do this but you may do this so what i do first though is i click here and i go remove filler words and what it's going to do is going to detect 305 results and I pre just press apply to all. I don't select replace with gap clip and I don't select correct, correct transcript because I've not seen it to be accurate. You can see here it's moving all the gap words apply to all. Now, once you've done that, it's still optimizing, but if you've seen everything highlighted blue, by the way, and you don't know why, it's because if you go down here, remember on this view here, it's because the title element is highlighted. Just click there in a black space 
and it should let you, there we go, remove it. All right, so the next stage is we then will remove the question. So you can really easily see there's an example for me and I'm going to remove that and then you've immediately got the clip from Jeff. Now this is just something best practice when you're working with a team. I like to highlight the first line and give a visual so you can see the, the clip. So I need something that goes better on green. There we are. So same color as Jeff, that's when he starts speaking. Scroll down. Right, so there we go, there's me asking the question. So I'm going to erase that now. I'm not going to erase that now. I'm gonna show you how to do the scenes. This is the really, really critical point about Descript and this process we're going through right now. So a scene, in for all intents and purposes, and the way we're going through here is a video. It's a separate video, that's how we do it when we're doing the repurposing. So at the end of it there, I'm going to add another one and I'm then going to add a, at the beginning of his answer, I'm going to add another one. Then I'm going to delete my question. So now you can see the first scene, or vi as in descript language, is the first video. Then the second scene or video is the second clip or video. So we've got the second clip. Then we carry on going down, he gets to the end of this answer. So if you've got a podcast or a video and you're doing a segment or you would just do the same, there's me saying really good content. There's the next question. So I need to put a stop there and I need to add the second there. Don't just add one, I've learned the hard way. Do it exactly like I'm showing and it, and it works best. And then scroll down, look and add there. There's the other end, it's really this simple. And then add it there and there we go all right so just i'm just going to show you the best practice i do i really recommend you doing this because it does help when you've got team or, or virtual assistants working on it or you're going through it your eyes just to see it you don't have to do this this is just one of our processes that, that's helped us at volume all right so let's just show you how you can visualize it i'm going to actually change it down here and i'm going to scroll out so if i scroll out there's you see how it's highlighted one there's the first one the second one the third one there are all the clips now you're literally now ready to edit this and get it exported and, and tidy it up and do the title so <clears throat> up here top left is the edit Use the shortcuts, they're there and they're great and you don't need to press multiple keys. So right is W, C is correct. So I'm going to go to press C. I'm going to press there. Oh, I'm gonna highlight this and I'm gonna press C. And I'm gonna make it into capital. So it's really good typically picking it up. But let's say, let's just give an example of the right you could say you've missed something, you would just press, let me pause it, you would press here, you press W. And you can. And that would be added to the transcript. Maybe you want to add something different in that people will pick up, but it doesn't really matter. And by the way, there is an option here to detect transcript errors that's in beta. I've not found it to be super good. It takes a long while to run, so we're not gonna do it now, but you can run it. How to export this specific segment. You would go back to the timeline. Now, I haven't yet figured out how to get out of write mode. It's up there in write mode, so we can't do anything. So what I like to do, it saves automatically. If this happens, I just go back to projects and I'll just go in and I will work on it like this. There we are. And then when you go back in, you are at the point where you can export it. The easiest way to export it is just to get the video, highlight that, then you're going to go to file, you're going to go to composition, you're going to go to export. And here's the critical bit. Settings here, check the orientations, correct? Current selection. Don't 
select current composition, it'll do the whole lot. Do do line breaks or all compositions, unless you've edited it all and you're edit in your you want to export all of them all in one, which is sometimes useful. Just current selection, 1080p minimum I recommend, and just literally click export, and it will export that video to the desktop. And when it's finished exporting, you, it will appear there at the bottom. You can just open it up, and you can just play it through and check. There we go. Good. All right. So now let's move over to the next stage. And this is where you really, really save time from the LD script, which used to be a nightmare. You used to have to reformat everything, adjust things. It, 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 was, it was a real mess. So we're going to duplicate the file. We're going to add the short template and we'll add the title and so on and so forth. So let's go back in. What do I mean by this? So we've got base, we've got square. We're going to duplicate up here and we're going to call it short. And then the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to zoom out at the, when I'm working on something for the entire track, I like to see everything down here. And by the way, look at all these changes that the artificial intelligence have, has made. Such progress, it's so great. It's, they're really catching up with the, the, the heavy editors like Premiere Pro, Final Cut Pro. All right, so with that said, let's go to change it to portrait. So that looks a mess now, right? <clears throat> but what I'm going to do is, so you've got the three that we've done as an example. You've got that one, and you can see that one where I've marked the text, and that one. So there's your free clips. You're going to click on here, and you're going to go to templates. And I think that's my short one it is. I didn't save it correctly. But you're just going to double click on it, and it's going to apply the template. And there we go. That means that the you don't have to adjust everything step by step. I mean, I'm not even going to show you how it was in the last one. You do need to go through each of the videos and add the template. There's no way around that, but this is a lot better than it used to be in any other video, video editor out there. It's going to take you, what, three, four minutes to do 26 videos down there, and you're going to apply the template. Now, the only disadvantage of this, and this is why, oh, that one hasn't done it, so let's just double click, duh, duh, duh. applying template. There's an error changing the text. Sometimes you do get an error. What you can sometimes do, let's just try a quick troubleshooting here and show you an additional feature of Descript. You can highlight this, you can, you can click the bars here, and you can say duplicate to new composition. And what that will do is up here, it will create a clip. I'm going to rename it for naming convention clip one. And in clip one, I'm going to click this here. And then I'm going to go to the template and I'm going to go click to add. There we go. And it's worked. We've got round it. So that's how you would troubleshoot. Back here. So this is why, do you remember I said we don't do all the headlines? You then need to go in and do the headlines manually. And the best way to do that, by the way, is like this. If you want to show your virtual assistant how to do this, because we used to have a copywriter, but now we don't do it. We just grab the script and we would go to chat GPT or whatever AI is flavor of the moment, flavor of the flavor of the, the, the month. There we go, I'm in there. Please write. A seven word clickbait headline. This is the best way I found to do it. This YouTube short. And then you give it the transcript because ChatGPT, it's only good as the, in, in the input you give it. If you give it something unique, your video, it'll come out with something unique. <clears throat> and now write a three bullet summary. There we go, perfect. That's a perfect headline. And now um, I'm gonna press enter here. Still generating. Let's take this. And you can do it with all of them. You can go back. And that's too big. So up here, hover over it, move to the left to make it smaller. And we need to make the box bigger, so I'm going to change to select. I'm actually going to just change the title to mirror therapy for inner peace. You would write less words. So here you can make sure it's just that. This view here just shows the selected elements. If you want to make 
adjustments you would you can just do it here that's sometimes better to do so I'm going to move it up using that and then I'm going to go to the size of the text there we go then I would literally take that text I would grab that text and I would just go back to the clip video go and change the headline there and so on and so forth if you've done it that way and you just go down and you edit each title so it's correct and then you do the same thing as before you would edit the video like this you would go to file composition export sorry export it like this you would check the settings 1080p current selection go to export and there you go once it's exported click down here on open there you go you've got the short we've done the square you've got the short now just as a bonus up here if you've got a slow computer or a team in another country what you can do is you can actually publish to a web link that's really quick the quality isn't always as as good and Descript don't actually publish anywhere what the resolution is sometimes it looks good sometimes it doesn't but you would just publish it like that and you would get a really quick result so there we go you would just go down export all the clips and in what in a very short time using the power of artificial intelligence we've built a set of videos from a long form video for multiple platforms using captions which in the past as recently as before storyboard came out would have taken a good lot longer so i hope that's been useful give this video a like subscribe to my channel we get loads of great stuff up there we're going to get some stuff up there about looking at the templates and all that stuff and making them look great other than that all i want to say have a wonderful day and i hope it's been helpful